Okay, so the first thing everybody wants to know is about the food. What's the food like? Is the food weird? Did you have to eat a cat? No, I didn't. Uh-uh. However, that said, I'm pretty Catholic when it comes to food. I grew up on a farm. I've eaten a squirrel. No big deal. So the first day I fly in and they sit me down at dinner and it is this great restaurant called Phoenix, which is actually a chain, but it's a chain in Tangshan, which is the Phoenix city. That's another story. Um, and they start showing me different things to kind of show me the, their own specialties. There's this kind of little sauteed pork thing. Uh, actually, it's a slow roasted pork with chestnuts uh, used. It's a little, little drier than what I would think of as a roast, but they, it's got some fat on it. So it's really quite good. Um, but then the menu also said um, we were looking at dumplings, and one of them was donkey, which I'm not going to eat because I love horses. However, there was rabbit, and I enjoy eating rabbit, so I got the rabbit, and they were kind of, I think, surprised. Um, this is Mr. Han and my uh, driver from the city. That was my second driver from Beijing here. We had to switch cars because they had come up with this interesting way of keeping uh, people out of the main city for the parade the next day and that was to only have people with even number license plates or odd number license plates driving into the city I, I by the way i saw some media about oh you know they're just letting the rich in or something for the parade but yes they wanted to look good but also it's an enormous enormous place and you couldn't have that many people there you have no idea how crowded it is you really have to restrict who can come in Anyway, it's not like everyone gets to go to the Oscars, right? I'm just saying. Um, then that night they took us to another place and they gave us Peking duck, which you all know, it's just like that Peking duck or Beijing duck. Uh, but then they also have many uh, surprising dishes I don't know anything about. This was just when they were starting to load up the Lazy Susan. They had this sort of ice cold salad which had tendrils of, of steam or uh, what do you call it when cloud coming off of it they had a plate of vegetables they had a plate of, of a fish stew they had this whole thing was completely full most of the food up here is surprisingly meaty very hard on vegetarians uh, my assistant who was sent to help me get my phone figured out, see the post on phones, um, said that it's nearly impossible to feed a vegetarian visitor because they're just very meaty up here. Also, they really um, like, you know, your porks, your chickens, your beefs are fine. Uh, that is a priority, but they're very, they're more bland and sweet. Things are so sweet. Uh, the crackers are sweet. Everything's sweet. It's one of the eight cuisines of China. Uh, I got a bowl of soup the other day. Here's a picture. And it looks like a bean soup. It's got barley's in it, barley in it, and it's got, you know, beans in it. But weirdly, it's sweet. It also has grapes in it. So who knows? Whatever. You eat a lot of dumplings. You don't get that much rice. I keep asking for rice. Obviously, I'm mispronouncing it because everyone looks at me like I'm completely insane. I think I'm supposed to be saying fun, but I might be saying fun, which isn't right. Uh, but they they also have this cake thing. It's just a flat corn cake. Sort of sweet. Very good. All the food is really delicious. Not weird. I, you know, there's some weird looking sausages, but I'm about to take that leap. I've eaten at fast food places. I've eaten at slightly better places. The one, the strangest thing is that they always bring you hot water. There's no tea. It can be the hottest day in the world, and they'll put boiling water on your plate in a dish where you can ask for it or you can go up and get it. They're not going to give you ice water. This boiling water is, they think, healthy and refreshing. So, gotta go. Gotta go teach a class. Talk to you later.